I sent thousands of cold Twitter DMs for completely free without using Drip AI. Here's the proof. Without paying a single dollar, without hiring any VAs. I'll show you how you can do the same in less than five minutes using three free tools to send out and blast thousands of DMs, get hundreds of positive replies and book a lot of sales calls. Basically, all you really need is Twitter, of course, Google Sheets, Instant Data Scraper and Minimal mouse macro and I'll show you how to use all of them when we get to it so don't worry. To scrape leads we'll use Twitter giveaway posts so here's an example I'll show you how to find them as well. Posts like these coming out in every niche every day right your ideal customer profile type of people just commenting and we're going to scrape them all to DM them and to do that to find those searches to actually be able to scrape thousands of people you need to do this trick right well it's not really a trick but you go to the search and you search up your keyword email let's say you can search up anything because you'll change it because you go to this advanced search and here you can nail down to the specifics of what you want to search so for example you first select minimum replies because you don't want to find posts with a couple of people commenting you want to scrape big big posts so let's say 50 replies right what words do you want to include because uh, of course you want to find posts that are giveaways right so comment reply and then uh, you could say this exact pr phrase email you know outreach whatever you're focusing right you could be student whatever you're targeting here you put in here to basically add a keyword so you filter down the search to only see posts about email and then it should uh, also use these words so it will be the giveaway type of post right and you nail this down over time you might need to add some diff words that uh, you don't want to see you know some hashtags whatever you add the words keywords you remove some just to make sure you get uh, great searches you can also filter by date right for example see comment down your email so we can share the list uh, giveaway here's something here you want to access this email designs right for example we have this and now how you're going to scrape this is you by using a chrome extension called instant data scraper it's free you just uh, add it to your home and that's it and you see it already has chosen this table and it already has scraped 25 people without me even doing anything right it has a lot of data so if it doesn't choose this table what you should do is try another table and then another table right you click till it selects the table that you want now before you actually scrape you should actually load up all the things well you don't have to but uh, for this example I will I'll show you how it's done so you load up everything right and when you're ready to scrape just turn this on see it's the wrong table try another table another table not that one this one see it already has scraped 25 people now it has a lot of information that i really do not need have status whatever that is this is probably likes replies whatever you can remove all the things you do not need usually all you need is uh, this link and the name right you can use profile images for personalization whatever you want you can use the extra data you have for example this information the tags right you don't have to right if you want you can just keep it if not just delete it uh, so you don't need to clean up data afterwards and once that's done all you do then is turn on infinite scrolling and start crawling and that's it it's scraped 25 rows 36 rows collected there shouldn't be any duplicates if anything you can remove duplicates in the google sheet where we will format everything so as you can see it's just going through them all right scrape 56 leads and it keeps scraping like that and you can have hundreds of posts scraping hundreds thousands of leads that you will be able to reach out to right and all of them are engaged you don't want to scrape someone's followers their followers could be inactive right anything you want to scrape people that are actually being active they're showing interest into similar products to yours into the niche that you're in right if you're trying to sell email services for someone who doesn't even know what a subject line is i doubt they'll buy it right so here we're reaching out to people who are interested in alex berman who's a great guy in cold email space right and people are interested to see subject lines right so you can reach out to all of those people because you know they're interested into email subject lines deliverability and pitch them your services right so once you have this right 149 collected you just copy all and then what you need to do is just set up to Google, right? So here I have linked outreach method style. You need to determine that before you set up your Google sheet. I have it completely empty here because we'll be crafting the messages here and everything. Before you do that, just make sure you have your message built. I suggest taking a look at this video to learn how to actually sell stuff, right? But once you do that, once you, once you have a message done, just go here, paste the data. If you want, you can title it, right? I'd say I just move it here. You can, uh, I, again, do it however you like. 
like, right? For example, name, better URL, right? And then here would be your message. What I suggest you do as well, if you want to like kind of personalize, add custom variables, spin text your stuff, is copy this or even just uh, ask ChatGPT to clean this data so it only has the first name. But if you don't want to do that, you can just select them all, click text to columns, space, and then delete the rest because you don't need. Now you'll have Alex, Progatti, Nick, Nick, Milos, Mate Mateo, Felipe, right? All of them stuff. Of course, here we sometimes you don't have names. YZ, you know. So if you want, you can use ChatGPT so it will do a better job than this if someone is missing a name. But yeah, you have the name. Now you craft the message. And crafting the message is super simple, right? You just want to add your message, whatever your message is, click equal. If you're not sending custom messages, you don't even need to do this part. But I do suggest sending custom messages, or randomizing the words just to go around Twitter limits so it doesn't kind of flag you and you'll also do other stuff to make sure you're not being flagged. So you want to kind of randomize the messages, the words, the spin tags, add custom variables so you're not sending the same message because then you're definitely going to get flagged, right? So to do all of that, you just simply start your message. You could be like, hi, you then close it add this tab if you want i can leave this formula or share this uh, whole spreadsheet for you to explore if you want that just comment uh, spreadsheet okay i'll give it to you then and you can already see a preview here hi alex then write your message for example how do you ha have any have any issues with deliverability blah 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 whatever it is right and you just add your message of course uh, google sheet will not allow you to add a break right you cannot do another line so what i suggest is open up this and write everything in here so it would be copy this copy this over you would do it like this uh, do you have any issues with deliverability our tool tool has helped uh, x y and z increase their reply rate by 10 percent want me to send a video about that right and you have this just copy just replace this uh it will of course ask if you want to fill it all of them i suggest not to because like i said you want to kind of randomize it so you'll add different spin tags and stuff and that's pretty much it right what I also do is I send two messages. I intentionally add a error so the people wouldn't think it's automated right video a instead of video and then i'll send like uh i fix it right and yeah then you do the same message just probably do you have any issues do you have any problems with deliverability than other videos and you see hi nick uh, hi nick hi milos hi progatic and you can of course test different proof points different uh, pain points different uh, ctas want to chat about that and basically randomize these messages by a lot this is just one word you know i'm changing one word you should change most of them at least 50 percent between each message you send you can even test different messages like hi uh, Brogatti. want a free trial for warm forge of course these messages are terrible right i do suggest you taking a look at this video because if you're sending messages like these you're not going to get great results not the best template right write your messages have a couple of variants the more the better if you want to do this as well and then you can start automating and outreaching right so let me show you how that's done first to automate it all you'll want to be using mini mouse macro again if you're on mac use a different app i'm sure there are options but this is free for windows we'll use it to do the whole outreach and to do the outreach is super simple i suggest dragging this closer you could just go between them because what you want to do is you don't want to use mouse for your google sheets because you'll run into problems that you cannot click so in the google sheet you'll be using mouse keys and to set up the automation you first want to do everything yourself the app will be recording your mouse movements keyboard movements let me give an example i click to record alt f1 i copy this i can i don't know replace uh, this one whatever that is drippy right i click here i open this i go back arrow keys copy this go here click here oh i can't send oh probably i cannot yeah to get a, you need premium of course uh, to send many messages right what you'll do then is simply you will call control shift v backspace page up because you need to uh, delete the quotation marks go right arrow key right delete send come back go here and that's done now of course i messed up a bit but once i click alt f3 it should be doing everything by itself it copied now it's uh, I, I took some time to click it so it 
now clicks, right? It should now click here, paste the other profile. Sometimes a button moves, right? But just click there where you need to click, right? This is this was wrong because Alex Berman has another button. But usually you just click on the right one. Then what it will do is again, we'll post this, copy this, right? If you do it wrong, of course, the automation will be wrong, right? And that's it. It will copy this. It will go here. Again, let me try with this one. Let me refilm. Let's see, because I messed up, right? Let's say this one. Will I be able to even message them? Let's see. Because I do not have the, the thing, right? Yeah, I'll be able to message this one. What about this one? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I can. So let's see. So let's say, let me automate it again. I click uh, Alt F1, copy this, go here, paste it, go back, copy this. I already move here, go here, click here. Of course, sometimes it could mess up. You click here, Control Shift V, delete this, page up, page up, page up, page up, arrow key, backspace, click here, you go back here and you're done. Finish filming and now let's play, see what it does. Maybe I did mess up, maybe not. Yes, I did mess up. I'm pretty sure I messed up by clicking F1. Yes, let's delete this and now it should be going okay. F, uh, Alt F3, it goes here, it pastes the other profile, goes back, copies the personalized message, custom message, goes here, clicks here, it loads, not doing anything. It should paste. Yes, deletes quotation marks, goes up, delete this one again i'm not doing anything it should click send of course the button was on at the other uh, bit higher so you should click enter instead of the button and it will go as long as you want it to you can loop it or do 500 dms i'm pretty sure twitter limits are 400 a day so just do 400 and that's it you'll be sending out messages i'll give you some tips in a bit but what you also want to do is add this right to your automation you can just probably do all of this but wait uh, i think uh, and Add uh, entry, add condition, run action, wait seconds, and then let's add random. The reason you want to do this is so the Twitter will not think you're a bot because you will wait a random seconds between each DM you send. I usually do, I think, 10 to a minute. Yeah, that way you don't look like you're a bot automation just sending same intervals, you know, clicking the same things, but it will kind of fool Facebook and you'll be able to send as many as you want. Basically, you just get more accounts and you can send like, uh, I don't know, Drippy allows you to send 1000 a month for uh, 79 bucks. You can do that in two days. No, in one day with two and a half accounts. Well, these all tools are free. Like I said, you, you do need to pay for Twitter. Because that's obvious, but for free, right? And you can, again, here's some sauce. You can scrape profiles with a website scraper. Uh, just add extensions. I'm pretty sure sh some type of sheets add on web scraper. Scrape their information or bios and then use an Another extension like she GPT to create personalized messages based on their bios. Do not copy the, bi the bios, they're awful. Just copy them and let chat GPT personalize the message based on the bio, right? Don't just slam in their bio uh, to look personalized, right? That way you'll be sending personalized messages for zero bucks, thousands of them a day on Twitter and reaching out to your potential customers, right? So that's that. Um, I do suggest taking a look at this video. I do suggest subscribing, but soon I'll be showing how to completely re replace your SDRs and create your own AI agent for free in Google Sheets where you'll automate most of your outreach, personalization, perhaps even a validation. We'll see. So yeah, if you want to see that, if you want to see more cool stuff and learn about outreach outbound, I suggest uh, subscribing and taking a look at this video to see how you can do a lot of email outreach for relatively cheaply as well. If you want access to this, let me know in the comments and peace.